some of you may now be wondering what I'm doing here, stood near a power. Uh, this particular power, where power comes in, across the power lines, and through this switching mechanism. So the main substation to this estate. For those of you that follow the Space Weather Woman, you know that recently we've been hit with rather large geomatic magnetic force. One person thought that that was Carrington. It was nowhere near strong enough. He said it didn't cause any problems where he was. This, however, caused problems where I am. Even though what I'm about to show you was in place. Only lasted a few minutes before the got power back. Just got to walk around the substation because I can't go through it. And I'm eating couples. I'm not crazy enough to. Let me just switch camera on. Uh, apart from the uh, stuff they've got over here, there for the workmen that are doing some work across the other side of the estate, what you can see is the basic transformers for the pylons that are coming in. There are a number of them. And you have a Summer stations here that are uh, uh, temporary. Across there, you can see even more high powered transformers. And that's how the power gets to the estate. Beside it, however, notice the big green building. I'm going to be walking past it because it's on the way. What's been stored in there, and maybe some of the smaller buildings on the site, is a battery backup. That's taking its power. which is the DC power coming in from people's solar panels. So it's not just the AC that's coming in across the panels, but DC coming in from local solar panels that have not got battery back. All working out to get the grid running. We just need to improve the speed of the switch over. Take out that couple of minutes. Again, over there you can see more switches. They'll basically disconnect the pylons when they need to. Back to back up, stays connected. So stay, even if the pylons are taken out, there is still power in the local residents. Now, to show you how it continues, 
I've got a nice long walk. Roughly one and three quarter miles that way. See you at the other end. Another closer look at the uh, big building. There are access doors, so people do work in there. Probably just to make sure everything's running. Behind it, you've got yet more big buildings. And even more switches that can kick in. This guy pile on when needed. Look at the size of that. No idea what that's doing. I was able to handle a lot of power. It's nearly buzzing from here. And it is raining, so this substation should have a tendency of buzzing in the rain. Gosh, there's an, an old one, whatever it was. Probably just as powerful. Again, more switches. Disconnect. It's not salt. to the dark.
Google Maps said this was a footpath. Not big, but as you can see, it's got gate across it. Blocked part. I came to talk to you about. Is it just beyond the, them trees? There's basically a field where they're putting a dedicated battery backup system to take its power from the solar panels on people's houses. It's over in the estate. And store it up for use by the farmers. So at the end of the day, the farmers don't go without electric. If the current event hits. The problem is, Work wasn't due to start until September of last year. And the site is down for lasting 40 years. So the electric grid in this area is hoping that don't get hit with a Carrington event on this solar cycle where it waits off to the next one or the maybe even up. Oh. Maybe a bit late for them to put it in but at least try and see. Other things that uh, we've got going on. The National Grid is switching to things like solar farms, which I'll talk about in the next video. And the problems that the farms are having with them. And possible best solution. Wind farms that before the current government they were restricted to offshore wind farms or only new offshore wind farms would get approved. This government said we're going to be putting some onshore wind farms up. Granted, we missed that. I'll try and get a picture of the new style of pylon that they're, they're wanting to replace all these with. You can actually see the base of the pylon, especially in areas where the farmers are getting crops. They can plant crops right to the base of the 
pile on without saving any trouble. So. Oh. Yeah. I do it for a parent. So fuck that. Maybe it's too late. It's the same though, but I like in that. Do you think there's any more we can do? Find out in my next video. What my thoughts are on what more Did you find the national grid? With all that being said, it's in there.